In this video, we're going to look at simplifying an expression that contains a fraction within a fraction. So here's our expression, a minus 1 over 1 plus 1 over a minus 1. Now the big issue here is we don't want to leave a fraction in another fraction. So there's a nice technique that helps us get rid of it. So whatever fractions you have within your fraction, you want to multiply the top and the bottom by the least common denominator, which in this case is a minus 1. So we're going to multiply by a minus 1 over a minus 1. Now this is going to get multiplied across the top and across the bottom. And on the top it's not too bad. On the top we're going to end up with a minus 1 times a minus 1, which we'll be able to write as a minus 1 squared in our next step. On the bottom you have to be careful. Because of this plus, this a minus 1 must be distributed to both of these. So we're going to have an a minus 1 times 1. So 1 times a minus 1 plus, now here we have the 1 over a minus 1 from the original problem times another a minus 1. Now we'll see the benefit of doing this technique. Notice the 1 over a minus 1 is going to cancel with the a minus 1. Now it doesn't go to 0, that leaves us with 1. So in the numerator we're going to have a minus 1 quantity squared all over, now this is just one times, but if it was another number we would distribute it over these parentheses, a minus 1, so we can drop those parentheses, plus 1. So this is equal to a minus 1, the quantity squared, all over a, because we got a negative 1 and positive 1, so those are going to cancel and that's how we can simplify. So the first step is the most crucial which is to multiply by the least common denominator on top and bottom and then the other thing to remember is you must distribute over any addition or subtraction.